Hello Floss Tube! I am Erica and I am here to talk to you about my stitching, my sewing, and my mama's quilt. So I have one more quilt to show you guys that my mom has done that you have not seen before. We have one, two, three, four in my house that she has um, finished and given to every member of my family. And this is the one that she just did for my husband and gave it to him last time she came up here in February. And it is the biggest, I want to say maybe the biggest quilt definitely the hardest quilt that she has done. So I'll show you guys that. Um, got my sweet, you can't really see it, Moose's Tooth tank top on, best pizza I've ever had in my entire life. Um, is it one? Oh, sorry, my friend Christine's texting me about Hawker and Hollow. I told her that I have mentally committed to doing that as one of my next big pieces. I want to do a fall Mill Hill series and I want to do Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow. It is amazing. It's huge. It will definitely be done for Halloween next year. Um, but anyways, best pizza I've ever had, best breadsticks. Oh my God, they were so good. I'm so glad I got to go there before I had to go gluten-free. I think they're only in Anchorage. I don't think there's any other locations, but it's second to, or no, um, a close second's Mellow Mushroom, if you guys have ever had Mellow Mushroom. I don't know why I'm talking about pizza. I'm not hungry. Um, so it was a pretty good week. Let's see, my son started t-ball, so that's been really fun. He does not like it as much as soccer. It's a lot of uh, waiting for everyone to take their turn at something, and the coaches are young, looks like probably college students. Nothing against them, I was a young college student at one point in my life, but they're not trained professional little league coaches. Um, and it was pretty expensive and it's only three weeks long. So kind of expected a little bit more. The soccer that he did was just amazing. Like by far the best coaches he will probably ever have in his career of Little League. Um, just extremely professional, amazing with kids, very well organized. And so T-ball is kind of the opposite of that, but it's fun, it's something different. He really loves hitting the ball. He's really good at it. Um, it was cute on Thursday they handed out shirts and they got to choose purple or black and my son was the only one to choose purple <laughs> for a while and then finally two other kids chose purple and I was like okay thank goodness it's an all-boy team um, and I just didn't want they have team photos next week and I just didn't want him to be the only one wearing purple if he doesn't care I shouldn't care but I'm always you know so worried that he's gonna get made fun of or something like that and that's not like his favorite color or anything he just picked purple over black um, so it's been cute, it's really cute to watch them. They have a couple practices the first few weeks and then the last week they're gonna have a little game against one another. So that's gonna be pretty interesting to see these three-year-olds having a game. Um, the shop has been really busy, so that's been keeping a lot of my time uh, fulfilling orders, working on bags. I have a couple new style of bags that I'm working on, uh, but my priority is always current orders. So if I have orders that need to be fulfilled, I'm not gonna be sitting here working on new bags when it's not fair to my customers who have orders in. So I haven't been able to finish the new bags yet because I keep getting orders, which is amazing, uh, but that's postponing the other plans that I have for the shop. And I'll show you some of the new fabric I have for the current style bags in just a little bit. I tried to start working on my two color quilt again. Uh, it's the Sew Along Lori Holtz Vintage Christmas. And I have completely fell out of love with it. I, everyone else is doing like white and another color, white and yellow, white and teal, white and red. And I changed mine to be green, red, and white. So it's more of a really Christmassy quilt. <sighs> of all the types of Christmas quilts that they have, the patterns, I only, I'm very minimalist and I only want to keep like one quilt per season for myself. My mom made me a Halloween one. I want to make a fall one, a Christmas one, and then you don't really need one in the summer. Um, and I just probably would not have chosen this. I, I know I would not have chosen this to be my one and only Christmas quilt. Not the end of the world. I can gift it. I could sell it. Like, I don't know what I'll end up doing with it. It is a beautiful quilt, very traditional Christmas colors, but I just, it's been hard for me to work on it because I don't love it anymore. So that should be finished at some point. I think the sew along wraps up next week and I am two weeks behind at this point, but I'll, I'll get to it. Um, yesterday, another minute or two of family talk and then I'll get into my stitching. Yesterday was one of the hardest days I have ever had as a parent. Oh my gosh, my husband was fishing all day and my kids 
it was a disaster from the beginning. Like I know better as a mom to, than to do this. We did not go outside all day. We went to Walmart in the morning and spent two hours there. Take it back, maybe an hour and a half, but a lot longer than usual. Usually we're in and out pretty quickly because they're three and one. They don't have the patience for staying in Walmart for very long. And the very first thing that we did was go buy some more plants. And so my son couldn't ride in the back of the cart. He's three and a half. He, he walks a lot, but sometimes he's like, I'm tired, I wanna sit in the cart. Well, he couldn't do that. So it was an hour and a half of him walking around by himself. So by the hour point, he was like, oh, I'm tired, I don't wanna walk anymore, I wanna leave, I don't like this place. And I was like, I don't like this place either, but we need to get groceries. And it just kind of so happened that, you know, my flowers aren't sprouting and I'm getting tired of waiting about 60 days for them to bloom from the time that they sprout. Or they, they have sprouted, they're just not blooming. They've got like another 30 to 40 days. And everyone else has these beautiful flowers that they went and bought. Uh, and I'm like, oh, I want flowers. And so I went and I bought just like $20 worth of flowers and it looks amazing now. It's so pretty. And I got a wreath on clearance for like $4. So that distracted us. And then I went by the sewing and I saw somebody actually at the sewing table, which is nearly impossible to get someone to cut your fabric for you at Walmart. So we had to wait in line to get some vinyl cut. And then by the time we started actually grocery shopping, it was like almost an hour into our trip there. So. It was just a difficult morning. They, we usually go outside or do something for the kids in the morning. We go to a museum, we go to the zoo, we go to the library, we go, we, I call it a playground crawl where we just go and run to all the different playgrounds in our neighborhood. And so we didn't get to do that. And so he had like pent up energy he and his sister were fighting a lot yesterday. Then it started raining during their nap so we couldn't go outside after nap time. And he is in the phase where every minute on the minute i am not exaggerating mom look at this mom look at this mom you see my trick mom watch this mom are you looking mom you're not watching me mom did you know i could close the door with my butt watch like literally all day and i remember when i was pregnant with him or shortly after having him i saw a mom complaining on facebook like if my kid tells me to look at something one more time i'm gonna explode and i was like oh my gosh what a horrible mom your poor child just wants your attention I get it now. I really get it now. It, I'm not, like I said, I'm not exaggerating. It is every minute on the minute. And I can't always be watching him. I have a one-year-old to attend to. I have cleaning to do. I have cooking to do. I have some stuff I want to do for myself. I, you know, cross-stitch every once in a while around them, like when they're watching cartoons. So it was just a very, very, very long day. And I know it's just a phase, and I know it's not going to last forever. Every issue that I've ever had with him it doesn't last it goes away so I'm trying to be patient and I'm trying to be enthusiastic wow I didn't know your butt could do that <laughs> um, and his new thing is telling jokes that are absolutely not funny and make no sense whatsoever but he thinks they're hilarious he'll be like hey mom why did the elephant ride on a pogo stick to bounce on your head waka waka <laughs> he says waka waka after everything and I'm like oh my gosh okay getting into stitching I only have three projects that I have worked on. Um, the first one is my Quaker Halloween, which I was hoping to have finished by today, and surprise, surprise, I don't. I'm close though. I think last week I hadn't really used, or maybe I did do a little bit of the uh, glow in the dark thread, and I finished up, whoop, upside down, the ghost using the glow in the dark thread. And I think it looks fine. I mean, the thread magic, helped a little bit but I don't even know if it was worth like if it's that that helpful so all I have left to do is this top corner right here there's a pumpkin in here and then flower and then this goes down this big flower and then just some small like stars and I need to fill in some white cross bones and the white candles and I think a white skull somewhere around here and that's it so it will definitely be done this week and mail that to my friend Christine I'll hold on to it to next week's floss tube so that you guys can see it before I send it out and I've said this before, but I cannot um, rave about this pattern enough. It is very simple. It is very fun. It is very easy. Really, really, really nice pattern. So let me get some threads back in here. I don't really have, I don't have any haul this week. I was good. I didn't spend any, any money at all, except on flowers. Okay. Um, next. Oh! so cool you guys if you follow me on instagram my instagram is below it's erica d house you i post progress all the time of my pick of my works 
I usually will post it in my Instagram stories though. So I don't post it in my main pictures. I'm trying to get better about that. I just feel like if you post the photos like in your main feed, they have to look really perfect. And I don't, I don't do that. So um, this is my Mill Hill. Oh, I should show you the pattern. Halloween, oh, it's got threads everywhere, but whatever. This is Wanda's Wands. See the little witch casting a spell in her cauldron. And this is glow in the dark thread over here. And the little pumpkin button amazing I sent a picture of it to my mom last night and I was like look at all the beading I've done and she was like I don't see it <laughs> it's like mom zoom in <laughs> I've gotten so much work done so I still need to continue this garland over here and do some uh, actual stitching like all this is supposed to be I think like a yellow but I did I just got bored of it so I started working on the beading here's a little pumpkin that's gonna be a pumpkin there's the witch it's gonna be all these little sparkles in her cauldron this will say one is one. There's gonna be a kitty cat in the window. I love this. This is a fall tree. It's so pretty. It's gonna have some yellows and golds in there too. And I think, like I've said, I'm not gonna do the big purple background because I'm going to do five more of this their Halloween series on this one cloth. And so, oh, <laughs> uh, I want them to look more uniform. My husband's taking the kids out to get donuts. It's our new tradition, donuts with dad on Sundays. And he just texted me, I think everyone's celebrating Father's Day at the donut shop. Oh, and I told him today, I was like, well maybe, cause I was helping him get the kids in the car cause I like to go out there and say goodbye to him. I was like, maybe you guys can bring me home a donut this time. And he's like, yeah, I was looking at their signs last week in the shop and it says that they're gluten free-ish. Okay, it's like, you're either pregnant or you're not. You're either gluten-free or you're not. There's not like, I'm a little pregnant. Or my mom, when she told me, I have a little bit of breast cancer. Like, no, you have it. <laughs> like, you, it's not one of those things you can like quantify and no. So I guess I won't be getting a donut. <sighs> Anyways. Next up is my Little House Needleworks um, Hometown Holiday Series. I have been working on the Firehouse first and then the Tree Lot second. And I'm gonna be doing nine of these total on the same cloth. Oh, I have another story I'll tell you real fast. Cause they're gonna go to Fred Meyer after this, or no, that's Alaska, King Supers, and look for sticky splats. Those little like sticky hands that you can like stick on things. My son's obsessed with them because he watches PJ Masks and they use sticky splats and so we call them sticky splats. Anyways, my husband came home Friday night and he had stopped by the store for something. Oh, for me to get rotary blades for me because I needed them. I couldn't cut any fabric. And he had picked up my daughter Paw Patrol finger puppets, which has been a huge hit. She, she's so cute. She's one and she takes the little puppets and she like bounces them around and pretends that they're friends. And then my son got this squishy poop. Like those things that you can like squeeze and the liquid comes out and like, anyways. He played with it all night long. My husband and him were throwing it up and it would stick on the ceiling and then they would watch as the poop starts to <laughs> drop and then fall. Um, but he took it to bed with him. And for a while we were having a very difficult time with my son not staying in bed at night. He would go to bed. He's normally in bed, like we're done with stories, between 8.20 to 8.30. And he would get out of bed I'm seven to 10 times in the hour afterwards. And we finally got over that. Like I said, nothing bad ever lasts with kids. And then last night he had gotten out of bed once and he's allowed to get out of bed one time and that's it. If he gets out of bed more than that, he doesn't get video games the next day. My husband and him will play video games for about 30 minutes while I'm getting my daughter down and then I get my son. And he got out of bed the first time and then I heard him outside the door the second time. So I opened up, I was like, kind of irritated. I said, get back to bed, what are you doing? And he started crying and he was covered head to toe in this gross, disgusting poop liquid. It's pretty much just water. I know it's just water. It dried fine. It was all over his bed. It had popped. He was playing with it. And I felt so bad. Um, so I don't know. I guess I'm thinking about them going to get sticky spots after this. Anyways, <sighs> hometown holiday series. Pretty caffeinated today. <laughs> I got lots of work done. I just need to finish up some snow, which I am already hating all of the snow that I have to do. And the red truck needs its wheels. It's kind of hard to hold because it's so freaking big. Let me. Okay, the red truck needs its wheels and the top part of it. And then I need to put trees and backstitch there. 
and then the roof of this place and some of the windows. So that's pretty much done. The firehouse is all done except for a teeny tiny bit of snow. I just have to finish the cross stitching and I was gonna do the French knots on the wreath. Oh, I need to finish the flag and some snowflakes. And I guess I don't have the colors I need for the roof and the tires, I thought I did. So I might, I'm trying not to start the third one until I finish the snow because like I said, I'm really not having fun stitching all the snow, but I know I need to. And so I'm hoping I can stick with that and not start it until the snow's done. But I really, really like this. It's so fun because every, every new design feels like I get a new start. Like if I start getting sick of doing something on here, I'm like, well, I'll just start the schoolhouse next or grandma's house next. Like it's, I get nine new starts on one piece of cloth. So that's cool. Okay. Um, so Jack Frost tree farm last week. Oh, I was about to just leave this line so bad. Um, last week I told you guys, I didn't know what to do. I had started the top of it with four, four strands of thread because I didn't know any better. I didn't know I was doing it wrong and I didn't know how to finish it or what to do. I'm starting it all over. Um, I, I just know I'm too OCD. I'm going to want it to all look exactly the same, all look uniform. And so I will finish this one eventually with four strands, maybe. But I don't know, like I really, if I, when I'm done with the project, I am done and I don't even want to finish it. And I'm kind of like that with uh, the Lori Holtz Quilter's Cottage. Again, I'm only done with it because I was using the wrong amount of thread and it doesn't look right and it's a pain to work on. Um, and I don't know if I'm ever going to finish it. I just, I'm going to keep them for now. Like I'm not going to toss them because I might change my mind in six months, but in no immediate future will I be working on either one of those. Um, it's except for starting Jack Frost Tree Farm all over again because I love the series. It's so cute, but I want to do it right. And with this like Mill Hill series, my mom's like, oh, is it a standard frame size? I was like, no, no cross stitches really are. And that's really frustrating. Uh, I'm still working on, I have two Halloween cross stitch designs I'm working on. I've just kind of like got to create a block with them. But I am trying to make all of my designs that will fit into a standard size frame because I can't afford to spend $200 to get this stuff framed. And if it's something small, like I'll show you guys. So this is something I was gonna show you guys. I found this at Walmart yesterday, it was six bucks. And I was like, how perfect is this for finishing stuff on? So I'm gonna finish my Farm Fresh um, piece on here. I'm gonna mount this on sticky board and then I'm gonna put some gingham or fabric. And I know I said like, I'm not really country. I don't really like all that stuff. Well, you have to with this, like farm fresh, like it's, it's a country pattern. So I'm gonna try to finish that this week and it'll be my first FFO since I started floss tube. So I just don't like fully finishing things. So cute. But anyways, um, I don't want to spend 200 hours on a Halloween village and then mount it on a piece of wood like this that I my styles might change like my decor is going to change but if I put it in just a nice frame that's timeless and that'll last forever so I have been watching a lot of Miss Oso oh Crafty and I know I've mentioned her before a couple floss tubes ago because she's amazing and she does all the framing herself I'm sure it is just a skill that you once you learn you know how to do it you know like you can teach yourself pretty much anything with YouTube so I might try to start kind of looking into that more because I really want to frame, you know, my Halloween town, my Christmas village, stuff that I might give as gifts. And I just, like I said, I cannot afford $200 for every piece that I do. Okay, so I am gonna show off my mom's quilt and then a little bit of shop news and I got some needle minders. I'm gonna show you guys those and then the giveaways. My mom's quilt is massive, so I don't know how well this is gonna go, but I really just wanted to show it because it's amazing. Okay. And it has pictures of my kids on here, and so I have covered up their faces with um, fabric because I am just anal and I don't like to show them. Okay, so I don't even think I can really even hold it up. Yeah, I can't. So I was just gonna show you guys a little bit of it at a time. So she, <laughs> she did not follow a pattern she made this up as she went along and that's why she said it was her hardest quilt and she would never do that again she found the blocks like she would go through different books and find a block she liked and then just made them um, piece it together as she went so it's all Alaska themed 
There's map, there's some bears. Tree, oh, the salmon. It's really pretty fabric. I remember her buying that um, when she was in Alaska. Let's see, so, I don't know why it's so washed out. I love this mountain one. Ooh, and this moose one. Let's see. I don't know what that is. Mountains. Like I said, oh, the log cabin in the center with the northern lights behind it. Um, let me try to, like I said, this is not not the easiest quilt to, to hold up to show. There's a the bottom half. I like this bug jar and it's got mosquitoes in it because the joke is that mosquitoes are Alaska State bird. They're massive. I mean, not exaggerating the size of a quarter probably. Snowman, if not bigger and they swarmed. It was so bad. Another little bug jar, another cabin. So there's the bottom of it. <laughs> like I said, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I really like that Northern Lights fabric. Oh, and there's dog sleds. That was fun. And even the binding is done in that Northern Lights fabric. Okay, oh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> There's my workout for the day. Um, but it's beautiful. And, you know, my husband likes it, but does he actually appreciate how long that took my mom? Probably not. That's hand quilted. All of her stuff is hand quilted. So that took months and months and months of her time. And it is just beautiful. So I wanted to show that off because it's so amazing. All right, two more things. I got these needle minders. Jen Upton, uh, gosh, I cannot remember her Instagram. It might just be her name. Her shop is linked below. And I don't even wanna say the shop name because I'm gonna get it wrong, it's Clever something. But her shop is linked below. And she was watching my floss tube one day where I mentioned, oh my gosh, my nails are so dirty from gardening. <laughs> where I mentioned, how I don't have needle minders, but I can see why people use them so much because it was when I was working on my mom's giant um, piece. And so she sent me some, I haven't even tried them yet, but they're you know super strong magnets. So well, well constructed, well crafted, super cute. If you're looking for needle minders, very affordable. I checked out her shop. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> My nails are so bad, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's impossible, it is impossible to keep them clean at this point. I really like, oh, look at that. That's probably my favorite one, the little ladybug. Ooh, man, that thing just jumped to it. I love the bling. Yay, so thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Like I said, her shop is linked below. Go check it out, support a fellow small business owner. Um, also, I have blue dye on my finger. I tried to tie dye shirts with my kids yesterday for Father's Day, I had no idea what to get him, so I got him a gift card to Bass Pro Shop. Um, but then I wanted to make something from the kids, and we just so happened to be in the sewing section at Walmart, and we saw puffy paint. And my son's like, can I get this? And I was like, sure, it's a dollar, you can have that. And then I was like, well, we need something to put it on. Puffy paint's amazing. And so we went to go look at the shirts, and I was like, he would love to make a shirt for himself just with his name and designs he did. And they were only $2, and then there was a tie-dye kit next to it. And I was like, Oh my god that'd be so fun we can make matching shirts for the kids and travis and then apparently tie-dye is a lot harder than it looks my shirts did not turn out i'll post a, a photo of them on instagram did not turn out at all and the dye stains everything so oh included in the package that she sent me the needle minders was this amazing uh hand i think yeah hand dyed silk hand dyed by rolanda isn't that pretty I don't know what I'll use it for, but it is beautiful. I love these kinds of jewel tones. So pretty. And it's hand dyed by Rolanda at Etsy.com. 100% silk, beautiful. Thank you so much, I appreciate those. So my shop, little update, I had two new uh, styles that I got finished in, in between getting orders last week. I had a little lull and I have a few to get to today. I've been kind of waiting on some fabric. I'm having issues with people I normally order from shipping insanely slow. 
Look at, so this is the first one. This is Christmas cows. <laughs> Cause nothing says Christmas like a bunch of bovines. Look at them. They got wreaths on them. <laughs> Oh my god. I was dying laughing. I don't it's not even that funny. My husband's like, you have the weirdest sense of humor. Whatever. I it's hilarious to me just to see these cows. Like the cow doesn't even look happy. <laughs> so this is in the shop. Christmas cows. Super cute. And then this one has already been selling really well. Little cowboys, look at these little horseshoes. And then, oh my gosh, just wait until you see the fabric on the back. Oh my God. It's so cute. Look at this little tushy. <laughs> and they're camping and they're just little tiny cowboys. Oh my God, I love it so much. So these are both in the shop. The link is below if you wanna check the shop out. Beauty and the Beast is still available. Um, oh my gosh, my Christmas puppies one. I've got some, I mean, not toot my own horn, but I've got some really cute stuff in the shop right now. Okay, giveaways. Last week, the giveaway was for this amazing um, Little House Needleworks from their Farmhouse Christmas series. I'm going to be doing all of them as ornaments for my tree that we have in the bedroom. And this is Bing, oh no, Cherry Cobbler by Classic Color Works. It's the barn color, because I, I would do everything else in DMC. So I just got this one thing in Classic Color Works. And the winner of this is Christine Weber. So, Christine, if you could email me your address, my email is below. I will get this out to you next week for sure. And the question last week was, if you could go back to any time period, what period would it be? And I love reading the responses. I haven't gotten to liking or responding to all of them, uh, but I will. And this is so, I can't, I'm not starting this yet. You guys know I like a really small whip count and I feel like I can make really good progress every week on my projects because I only have three that I'm working on. I do want to restart Jack Frost Tree Farm. I'm going to start my dad's fishing one this week. So that's going to put me at five. When my friend, when Christine's Halloween one is done, then I'm going to start this one. So I like to have at least one small project that I can work on downstairs while the kids are watching cartoons or if they're playing nicely together for you know two seconds of the day. Um, I like to have something small. And so this will be my new small. I'll start working on, I think this might be the only pattern I have so far of this series, but I'll eventually get them all. And when I'm done with one of my bigs, which is going to be a while, Little House Needleworks, the Christmas Village is probably going to be the first big piece that I finish because that Mill Hill one's going to take forever. Then I probably will start on Hawkorn Hollow. So that's motivation to get that finished, even though I really didn't need the motivation because I, I love it anyways. Sound like someone was out the door. So this week's giveaway, I showed these off last week as part of my haul and I just... I have to be honest with myself that I'm probably not going to do them anytime soon. It's Punch Needle. So only enter if you like Punch Needle or want to try it. This is Sheer Pride um, by Threads That Bind. And then this is a Hair and Pennies Hanging Pocket. So this is Wool and Punch Needle. And it has all the directions for how to put this together in the kit, it's so cute. I love, like I said, I love both of them, but I just know it would be a very, very, very long time before I could get to them, and I'd rather somebody else get them that really loves them and wants to start them right away. So for this week's giveaway, let's see what kind of question. I always look for you guys for advice, and so I'm trying to think if there's anything that I need like advice on this week. Hmm. I guess not advice, but for, to enter the giveaway, please make sure that you're a subscriber, like the video, and comment below and tell me how many whips do you have? That would be interesting. What is your, how many do you have? And if this number is different, what is your happy place as far as number of whips go? Miss Oh So Crafty, I think keeps hers in the low teens as well. And then I know that there's people on the opposite end that have like 50 or 60 which would just, it would just drive me nuts. I can't, and I still need to go through all of my craft supplies and start a de-stash page. I've been trying to, but Instagram keeps blocking me. Like, 
you've been trying to do this too much. <laughs> You're blocked from trying to start a new account. I was like, what the heck? I only have one. I guess I do have two Instagram accounts for another business I used to have making kids toys. Um, but I need to get that set up because I don't really like to have a lot of stuff. It drives me nuts. Uh, and I still didn't get anything else hung here. Like there's my husband's cross stitch. You guys were so sweet with your comments about his cross stitch. Uh, but I'm hoping to get some more of my really colorful finishes, which I don't actually really have very brightly colored like that. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to start, oh, maybe on this wall. I don't wanna show you guys, this is some stuff on the floor right there. <laughs> this is all stuff that I, these quilts in progress and some stuff that I was gonna put on the D stash page. But right here, I might start putting all of my cross stitch projects. And then I could even start kind of filming so that it's there because I got huge windows right here, which is where I like to film with natural light. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Happy Father's Day. I do have some guys that watch. Um, like I said, my husband's getting the donuts with dad tradition right now. And then we're going to go fishing. And there's a playground at this particular lake that we're fishing at, a huge playground. So when the kids get bored of fishing, which is gonna be like after five minutes, they can play and Travis can still fish for a little bit. Um, I'm gonna try to go for a run right now. I don't know if it's gonna be outside or inside. Oh, I need to do a garden update. My garden is looking amazing, except for the freaking tomatoes. I am like cursed with tomatoes. I don't understand what's going on. They're just, they're not thriving. They're starting to wilt. They're starting to kind of yellow. And it's only a section of tomatoes. Like the section literally a foot away, all in a big row, they're doing fine. But I started off with 14 tomatoes that I grew from seed and I am down to like three. It's very depressing because they're kind of rare varieties that I was really excited about and no, they're not doing well. My cherry tomatoes are doing amazing. I've got a couple little cherry tomatoes on there already. They're so cute. And I did go buy a watermelon plant yesterday because we tried to plant watermelon seeds twice and they didn't come up either time. I don't know what's going on. My corn's doing amazing. Strawberries are amazing. Oh my God, I have so much lettuce and spinach now. Like I have to start eating a salad every day just to start using the lettuce before it starts to go bad or starts to go to seed. I don't know if lettuce does that, but spinach will bolt, so I don't know. My first year, I'm still learning as I go along, but I next week we'll hopefully have a lot more progress to show you and some sewing projects, maybe my new bag, if I can get my stuff together and get that finished and start the two color quilt again. And that's it, hopefully I'll be starting that Christmas um, ornament soon and I'll get the giveaway out so Christine can start it with me. But thank you guys so much for watching. I didn't say it at the beginning of the video, I should have. If you're new, <laughs> thanks for checking me out. Hopefully you enjoy my videos. If you're returning, thank you so much for subscribing and watching my videos. I really appreciate it. I say all the time, you guys are my friends that I look forward to talking to on the weekends. I don't have any other friends. I don't have any friends in Colorado. Um, but all my friends are scattered throughout the US, yay military life. And I only have one, Christine, that quilts and cross stitches. So I, I don't have anyone else to talk to about this stuff. I talk to her about it a lot, but it's nice to talk to you guys about it as well too, because it's just amazing and fun and it just makes me so happy. And it brings me like peace and joy, as cheesy as that sounds. Like I've told you guys before at night, if I wasn't crafting, my anxiety starts to get to me, my mind starts to wander, and so having something to do to keep my hands busy, to keep my mind busy, has just been amazing. I'm so glad I got back into this. It, you know, it's relatively new. I just started sewing in February. Cross Stitch has been 10 years, but I took years off with having kids, and it just feels really, really good to be back into this and to be making beautiful things that I can give to friends and family or I can pass down to my kids because um, they're heirlooms like it's so cool when you think about that when you're cross stitching like these are going to become family heirlooms it's just very surreal to think that my granddaughter might one day have my Halloween village displayed for her family at Christmas time pretty cool okay done rambling thank you guys for joining me I will see you next week <laughs>